six months. Hope you've been well. Welcome back to Cats and Cubes. Hey you guys, welcome back to Cats and Cubes. I thought I'd do a type of podcast video and I found some old unused stock footage to show you and just thought I'd let you guys know what's been happening. So first I want to start with thanking somebody that's been doing a couple of my animations and I should point out I'm not sponsored by Fiverr. So a big shout out to Bupish Pekra, I hope I pronounced that right, who did the animations on the 80s video intro and also the Mephits Pocket Cube intro. The intro for this video contained the storyboard and also some of the video. Sir Isaac Newton unraveled the mysteries of gravity, but could he have unraveled the mysteries of Rubik's Cube? Three weeks ago, Judge Smith retired to her chambers with Exhibit A, Rubik's Cube. She hasn't been Go seen Judge since. Smith. <laughs> Warning, once you get your hands on Rubik's Cube, you may Me never can't be solve able it. to down. Rubik's Cube, over three billion combinations, but just one solution from Ideal. Wait a minute, did anybody notice the color schemes on those cubes they were using? Let's rewind a sec. <laughs> Let's go back further and have a look at her cube. Okay, Isaac's cube. Dunk. Okay, so there we can see a yellow and white edge and a blue and white edge. And there's a close-up of the yellow and white edge. I've had a good look at both Isaac Newton's and the judge's cubes, and they both have yellow and white and blue and white edge pieces, which means they have a green base, which is really strange. None of mine do. It used to look like. So here it is, Ninja Cubed. The Cats and Cubes room had Amelie and Jinx's cat tree house and everything. A lot of lighting, uh, the tripods, things to hold up different lighting. I often used a lot of harsh lighting, which was always a bad idea. You should always try and use soft lights when you're not under natural light. But yeah, all the smart cubes and different things like that. There's I obviously was in the middle of a video, I think, when I shot all this. Uh, there's the cat tree house. But yeah, I basically had all the um, puzzles out, uh, except for all the three by threes, they were all in boxes. And I tried to hide a lot of the cubes that I hadn't shown yet in the videos in case they ever sort of appeared in the video. But yeah, that's all my little cubies, how they were all set up. I used to love it. It used to be hard to walk in there without picking up a 3x3 three three and doing a turn, then picking up another one of a different brand and doing a turn just to feel the difference. I used to love it. Here are cubes. I think I've shown videos for all these cubes that you're looking at now, but there they all are. Used to be a fun room to walk into if you were a cuba or a cat lover. And there's a little bit more in this cupboard here. There. I, and yeah, that's kind of about it. But there you go, Ninja Cubed. That was my setup and sorry again sounding so rude in my response earlier. Subscribe to Ninja Cubed. He's awesome. Really good cuber too. I have, as you can imagine, a lot of um, stands, cube stands, is some of them. Crazy amount. That's 
That's like a handbag, a clutch Ruby's Cube handbag. I'd probably look very pretty wearing it. So that's how it was. Sweet! I really miss it. Okay, so now let's talk about some of the problems I had with making my channel, particularly with the fire videos, and a reminder never to do any of this. Never ever put yourself, property, or other people in danger by doing these things. These are some behind the scenes and bloopers of oh, the fire what? cube video, which turned out really disappointing. Unfortunately, the best one we, we did was shot um, in portrait, and I really wanted everything <laughs> in landscape. Uh, and yeah, it's been pulled down multiple times. We've had to uh, convince YouTube that we are actually capable of doing these things and are trained up to do so and we're really under medical supervision so they're back up for now. Unfortunately, they're not very good but here's some trial and error of doing it. The channel actually used to be an adult channel so we deleted 10 videos, two were removed and it's now family friendly. When the channel returns, I actually have some really fun ideas with fire again. We just have to work out how to make it so we can publish it without it getting pulled down. Okay, well, we're closing in on towards the end of the video, and I haven't made this very podcasty, so let me talk about some things that I really enjoyed when I was doing the channel. And I think my favourite thing of all, besides making the music, was uh, the community particularly the people that started their channels at the same time as myself, Crater, Girls Can Cube, Mediocris, oh, there's just so many, like there's heaps of people, I should have wrote it down. As always, I've not done a script for this. I never do scripts and I think if I have any advice for people is to perhaps make a script or at least bullet points for your videos. I've made so many embarrassing errors in my videos from not being better prepared, I just think and go for it i think my other even though i've only been doing it for well less than two years i think my other bit of advice is once you've made a video to sleep on it and then go back to the editing room again and just have a double check on the edit i mean i would have changed all of my videos if i had have done that so many are so cringy it's hard to watch that was emily and that's jinxy there had to show my kitties Okay, I'll finish up with a video you might not have seen. Thanks everyone for watching, take care. One of the videos that I pulled of the 10 was my snake like collection, Rubik snake thingy collection. Um, I think I'm gonna be able to change the audio on the end to make it uh, family friendly. There we go. Dinner, quicker sticks. The ball. And here's another one. Ah, uh, chick yeah, it's just a little baby one. So this is another 24 piece one like the originals, but it, it's a little baby one, so the pieces are a little, uh, but they're still 24 pieces, so you still make the similar things as you did on the normal size one. On like the, all the different snakes, here's one of them. Okay, so here's a size comparison compared to the original 24 piece and the little one. And let's just reminisce for a moment and I'll just make a couple of things that we all probably used to make. Um, here's the dog. Remember if you gave him no neck that you could make a sausage dog, but this is just um, the original dog. There we go. Da -da. Dog. Pretty cool. Okay, now I'll speed this one up. There we go, the, is that it? The swan? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm just going to change what I originally had said in this section. It's, I'm just showing you here with the 60 piece snake opening it up. Yeah, Naughty Space Cat used to accidentally do swears when it was an adult channel. Oops. Let's box it and have a look. So we've got instructions on how to make different things, which is pretty cool. Nice work, Shiwi. And that's it in Chinese. Awesome. But I'm just gonna make my own creations. So let's undo it and see how long it. Yeah. 
Yeah, wow. Oh, it's too long. You pretty much have to be standing in the middle of an oval to be playing with it. Look at it in size comparison to the little one. Yeah, it's over 9,000 pounds. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, cats and cubes. I made this cat sign. I'll use that at the end. Um, but first, I need to show you my creation that I have made. Get ready. Da -da -da. Da -da. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, me again. I just want to point out that this is cherries. I made cherries, that's the stem, and um, some cherries. Hello, boys. <laughs>